WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock, and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. It is being contained. And do you not think it's being contained? There are at least 546 uh, cases. The virus is now in 34 states and the District of Columbia. The death toll is 22. It is being contained. 100 countries are now reporting cases. It is being contained. The demand on health care providers is surging. It is being contained. We're going to see a complete overwhelming of the entire medical system. It is being contained. There is no vaccine and a delay getting those test kits. It is being contained. You don't want to alarm people, but given the spread we see, you know, anything is possible. It is being contained. And do you not think it's being contained? Well, if the White House can't be trusted, at least we have public servants in Congress, like Florida's Matt Gates, who, for example, had so much fun mocking the coronavirus outbreak by wearing a gas mask on Capitol Hill just days before a resident in his home district died of coronavirus. Rochelle is a particular problem. It is uh, what they call a cluster. The numbers have been going up. The numbers continue to go up. The numbers are going up unabated. Uh, and we do need a special uh, public health strategy for New Rochelle. We're also going to use the National Guard in the containment area uh, to deliver food to uh, homes, to help with the cleaning of public spaces. There is a debate about how long the virus can live on hard surfaces. Uh, and you have differing opinions now. Uh, some opinions are the virus can live on a hard surface such as stainless steel or plastic for uh, two days or more. Uh, if that's the case, uh, that's, that would be a significant issue as to why it is uh, transmitting the way it does. I know one of my neighbors that uh, right now is in ICU. Really? Yeah, in very bad shape. And I'm praying for him to get out of it. It's an unusual situation to be in, especially being named the epicenter of, you know, a national, um, of a national, you know, epidemic, it's called. It, it's, uh, it's unnerving and it makes people very nervous. It makes people nervous to be around others. Is the, is the worst yet to come, Dr. Fauci? Yes, it is. Can you elaborate? Well, whenever you have an outbreak that you can start seeing community spread, which means by definition, that you don't know what the index case is and the way you can approach it is by contact tracing. When you have enough of that, then it becomes a situation where you're not gonna be able to effectively and efficiently contain it. As public spaces in New Rochelle scrub down, it's important to note the cluster of COVID-19 positives does not include any public school. name is James Kai. He spoke to me over the phone tonight. He says he's a cautionary tale about coronavirus. Kai says he's not a part of the vulnerable population. He's young, healthy, doesn't smoke, yet he caught coronavirus. He says until we know more about this contagious disease, you must do everything you can to protect yourself. James Kai is New Jersey's first confirmed case of coronavirus. Hospitalized at Hackensack University Medical Center since Tuesday, he says he feels uncertain about his recovery. Every day he is getting worse. Kai, a 32-year-old physician's assistant working and living in both Manhattan and Fort Lee, New Jersey, says he became sick after attending a medical conference at a Times Square hotel last weekend. He went to an urgent care clinic and then to the ER in Hackensack. They did a CT find out I may have corona. So it happened so quick. With 216 positive cases of coronavirus in New York State as of this afternoon, Governor Cuomo says federal testing capacity is far below the demand. Posed by a coronavirus. And we have never before seen a pandemic that can be controlled at the same time. 
WHO has been in full response mode since we were notified of the first cases. And we have called every day for countries to take urgent and aggressive action. We have rung the alarm bell loud and clear. It is a dramatic action, but it is the largest cluster in the country. And this is literally a matter of uh, life and death. In an effort to limit the spread of coronavirus by identifying people infected, Governor Cuomo toured a testing lab in North New Hyde Park on Long Island, where he is hoping the CDC will soon authorize to conduct coronavirus testing. I think the CDC has just been slow off the mark, and they continue to be slow. A lot of people say, oh, it's okay, don't wear a mask. I don't believe that. I may be just caught a, sle a sneeze by somebody and caught a virus. Kai says he's not a smoker and had no underlying condition before coronavirus quickly spread to both his lungs. He's warning everyone to take the threat of coronavirus seriously. Now in isolation, he says he only wishes he could see his wife and one-year-old daughter. I didn't make it through. I, hope, I, I believe I can make it through. But just in case, they can see me for the last few times. Bottom line, it's going to get worse.